Let me share with you a little bit about where CCF is going in the coming years. And that has everything to do with who we've been in the past years. Our, our vision flows from our, our DNA and the calling that we've had from the Lord over many years. In particular, I think there are four building blocks of CCF's ministry, four things that we need to do, and we need to do them in order and, and get them right if we're gonna be faithful to our calling. We're gonna be making a series of videos unpacking each of those building blocks. But for now, let me just try to give you the whole picture, the quick overview of here's what I wanna see CCF do and thrive in. The first thing I think about when I think about who is CCF and, and what have they been doing since the very first day of the biblical counseling movement, and that is breaking up new ground, tilling fresh soil, going to new places with our theology, taking practical applications of, of doctrines that have been true for all these years and, and trying to bring them in, in fresh ways to the church. That was the birth of the biblical counseling movement and it's who CCF needs to continue to be and to serve the biblical counseling movement and the church. However, while that may be uh, our most distinctive effort, there are three other vital elements that have to be there if we're gonna accomplish our mission. And the first is, I would hope, obvious, and it's we, we've gotta be rooted in Christ. We've gotta be connected to Christ. All the new ideas in the world and the fresh takes don't do anything if we are not fundamentally connected to Him in our personal lives, in the way that we love each other as an organization, in the way that we are faithful to doctrine. And that's got to be the basis of everything, of, of course, in shaping our worship and our identity. So if that connection to Christ that allows for good, healthy breaking of fresh ground is is the core distinctive built on the base foundation. We still need more. We need to also be equipping people. We won't be able to do that with everyone, but we've got to have people who we're pouring into. Places where people are receiving our content and material and teaching and writing, and then we are trying to help them implement it. We're giving them feedback. We're discipling them as they seek to grow and discipling others. Lastly, We've got to be able to make a, a critical contribution to local churches around the globe. We, we've got to be focused on serving the church, on knowing the needs of pastors and meeting those, of getting our courses and our books translated into other languages. We've got to think about how do we not only equip individuals and, and create content that is fresh, but how do we do it in a way that is a, as accessible as it can possibly be to the church having an impact in churches in a thousand different contexts and helping shape what the culture of churches can even be. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you even more for caring about the growth and depth of soul care in the body of Christ.